Hello guys, Brad here again with another video. Today I'm going to talk about fragrance addiction. And I don't really think anybody's really broached this topic on YouTube yet. So I thought maybe now would be a good time to do that because I always like to try to bring new and unique ideas to the fragrance community. And this is something that I feel deserves some discussion, you know, much the same way as like the uh, Drac Duck. Um, fireside chat type forums that he has and it's kind of a nice little thing to talk about I think um, this is certainly something that I've struggled with over the years now I've been buying fragrances for a long time even before I started my channel I was buying fragrances so I'm looking at probably over 10 years of buying fragrances and more fragrances basically the way it would work is I hear about a fragrance I see a review or a video I buy the fragrance and there's this you know, euphoric rush of getting the package, opening it up, and trying it out. And then once I wear it, that's it. You know, I pretty much lost all the uh, excitement, and I move on to another fragrance. You know, what's next? You know, what's the next big uh, fragrance in the fragrance community? And over years and years, this can be a big problem because fragrances can be expensive. You know, multiply one bottle times 100, 200, 300. You're looking at a lot of money for stuff that's just sitting around getting dusty. And it's just kind of disgusting to me in a way, at least from my perspective, for, my, for myself. Now, I'm not here to judge others. This is something that is very personal to each and every one of us that we have to look inside of our hearts and decide, hey, do I have a problem or don't I have a problem? Now, this isn't like the guy on Base Notes that started a thread saying, do you think Mark has too many fragrances? Now, it's not about Mark. It's about you you know yourself not about somebody else so really the first thing you need to do is, is recognize that you have a problem you know just say to yourself hey I have a problem now what can I do about it uh, you might need to just listen to your friends or family and hear what they have to say you know even if your friends say you have a problem that's not going to do much good until you recognize it because if your mom if your mom or your girlfriend or your wife says hey no more fragrances you can always say okay fine but you know I'm sure We'll still figure out a way to sneak him into the house, hide him somewhere, you know, just like, you know, like a sneak. So, you know, recognize that you have a problem. Start there. Maybe what you need to do is an inventory. Just take everything you own, put it out there on your bedspread and say, wow, this is crazy, all the stuff I have. And you might not really appreciate that if you have it all spread out in different places in your house. But to see it all there spread out in front of you in one visual extravaganza you know it's like wow that I might help bring it home a little bit um, another thing to do is you might need to avoid the temptations figure out what drives you to buy more fragrances is it the search for the perfect panty dropper uh, is it just you know, being accepted by the members of the fragrance community maybe in my case it's being a reviewer and wanting to have more reviews than anybody else so find out what those temptations are um, and try to avoid uh, the temptations. Maybe eBay could be a very bad temptation. There's always deals on eBay for testers and decans and used bottles. So you might want to stay away from eBay if, if you have a serious problem. Facebook groups can be bad. I mean, a lot of temptation there with swaps, splits, uh, people hyping stuff, you know, the fragrance reviewers on YouTube. You might need to just... Uh, you know, unsub or just quit watching the videos if if that's a problem. I think another thing that you need to do is just be careful of hype. Recognize that hype doesn't necessarily mean that there's a great fragrance out there that you don't own. It just means somebody happened to buy a fragrance they thought it was good, and now they're making it sound better than it really is. And then when other people try it, all of a sudden we find out that it's not that great. And usually after about a month or so, there's another fragrance that's being hyped, and everybody forgets about the prior fra fragrance that was hyped. And now everybody has this fragrance and hardly ever wears it. So, yeah, try to put hype in perspective. I guess the final thought I want to leave you with is uh, if you own a lot of fragrances, you might want to just try to go back and rediscover a gem that you own that you haven't worn in a while. Um, you probably own at least, you know, several dozen great fragrances and you don't even realize it so go back there and just you know re-enjoy what you have and just 
you know, enjoy what you actually own and not what you don't. I think that's an important step right there. So that's my two cents. I'd love to get some uh, feedback on this topic. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you all later.